Oh, we're good. Are we good to go? Oh, we're live. Well, guys, great. Guess what? You heard what I said. We're going big today. We're going five rounds because it's our, our last week on this current program. So everyone, welcome. I'm Angie. I got Ian with me and Jay. So welcome to Wednesday's workout. Today is split squat day. What? Move this way? <laughs> oh, I'm getting confused. Oh, right. There we go. I'm like looking at Paul. Guys, Paul's at the computer. I'm not looking at the camera. So here we are. Now I'm back. Okay. So we got split squats today, push-ups, rowing variation. So remember, if you have equipment at home, you're going to need a dumbbell or a kettlebell for the row. The rest of it is body weight. So we'll be good to go. So we're going to start out in about, mm, let's give you 15, 20 seconds. Hurry up, get your stuff together. By this point, it's week three of this program. You should know what's going on. All right, guys, so we're going to give them a couple seconds, and we'll get ready to rock. But we do have a pretty fun, we're sticking with the crawling finisher, but we're going big today since it's week three of this program. So hopefully by now you've built up some endurance to the move. You're feeling good with it because it's going to be fun. It's going to be led by Jay, and Ian and I are going to actually have to do it with you. All right. Are we ready to rock? Yes. All right. We're going to go three rounds on our warm-up. Today, we have the scat shrugs. We have the squat walk-up and the dead bug, as you probably already knew, in the warm-up. So Ian is going to come to the front for me while we do the scat, scat shrugs. Now, I want you to pay attention to one thing before we get started. If you are someone who has a little bit of wrist mobility issues, maybe it hurts when you're posting on the ground. We hear this a lot. Jay over here also has some wrist things going on. So if you notice, he's keeping a neutral grip with his fist down rather than where Ian has his hands planted. You can always go knuckles down. That'll give you a little less tension in the wrist. So remember for the scap shrugs, we are warming up the shoulders, the shoulder blades, getting ready for our push-ups. So Ian is going to pinch his shoulder blades together. He's dropping his chest and then he's pushing them apart. So he's going 10 right here. The whole time he's keeping nice and neutral in the center. He's not letting that lower back dip, so he's keeping a nice tight ab, pulling his belly button in. So again, remember, the only movement we should see is from the upper back, pushing through, driving hard away, warming up those shoulders. So Ian's going to tell us when he gets to 10. Nine. Thank you. Ten. Ten. All right, go ahead and come up to your feet, guys. We're going to start the squat walk-up from the top. We're going to do five squat walk-ups today. So what he's going to do, they're both going to go ahead and squat down to the ground. Big chest, their hands find the ground. Walk their feet back right into that push-up plank. They're going to squeeze. Feet back up to your hands. Drop your butt first. Lift your chest nice and long to the top of the head and up. All right, down. Here we go. Hands down. Walk back. Back up. Big chest, squat position, two, down for three. They go to squeeze, back up, three, down for four. Now, while you're doing this, if you have trouble keeping your heels flat on the ground, you can always widen the base of your squat to do that. And if you find that you have trouble keeping that chest up, you can lessen the range of motion with your squat. You don't have to come as low as the guys do. They're finishing up number five right here. All right, guys, good. Rope to your back. We're going for dead bug. Remember, three per side. All right, start. All four limbs in the air. Lower back is crushing the ground. There should be no space between that back and the floor. You're going to take a deep breath in through your nose. Pressurize your abdomen. Drop opposites. Hold it. One, two, three. Close it up. Reset. Other side. One, two, three. Up, two. One, two, three, switch, two, one, two, three, last one each side, guys. Now remember, they're pushing long through this heel, long through the heel to the ceiling, and up, reaching those fingertips as far back as they can, focusing on that back, staying glued, and last one. Great. Roll it back around to all fours. We're going right back into that skip shove. Thank you, Ian. All right, remember, this issue is you're on your fist. If not, you're flat on the ground like Ian. Keep them long to the top of the head, making that double chin. They're just dropping their chest to the floor, then they're driving it apart, warming up their shoulders at the back here, getting ready for those pushes and pulls. Working on staying nice and stable through the lower back here so they have their 
abs drawn in. Looking good, guys. I kind of feel like this is a dream coming, coming true for me. I'm leading a live workout. I feel like I'm on TV. Tell me when you guys get to 10. I think that's 10. Okay, let's come up to the top for those squats. This time, let's go ahead and do the arms overhead for the squat. All right, so we're gonna work on staying nice and tall through the chest while keeping our arms overhead. So we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna sit back into that squat, keeping those arms next to their ears. Drop your hands to the floor. Walk it back. Squeeze in that plank right back up. Feet by the hands. Drop and up. That's one. Coming down for two. Hold that plank. Good. That's two. And down. Right here, they're dropping their butt, they're lifting their chest, they're getting their arms up, they're going down for four. Nice one. Might find your shoulders, you can get a little bit tired there. And five. Okay, dead bugs. So remember, you're using that breath to get tight through the center. So they're dropping, holding three, two, one. Deep breath, inhale. One, two, three. Up, two, one, two, three. Up, one, two, three. Last one each side. One, two, three. Drive that back hard into the ground. Push those ribs to the hips and finish. Nice. We're cruising right through. All right, back to those scat shrugs. Taking shoes off, he's gonna feel better now. All right, 10 reps, guys. So you guys probably don't know this about me if you don't know much about Angie, but I really enjoy the Food Channel. And my biggest dream in college, I went to U of I, University of Illinois, and it was right when they were getting started with the Food Network star, uh, like finding the next Food Network star. And all I wanted to do was a taste of Big Ten and have my own TV show like this. So Paul's been helping me. I've been trying to do some food videos on my personal page. So if you're into learning on how to eat delicious stuff, but not blow all your calories, be sure you check those videos out. Just thought I would share that. Okay, <laughs> five walk. <laughs> Thanks guys. I really like to do that kind of stuff. Okay, five walk ups, here we go. Squat, hands down. Squeeze, back up. Drop your butt, lift your chest, top of the head to the ceiling, and that's one, down. Walk out, back up, two, and down. Hands right under that chest, they're squeezing, getting them right back up, and three. Two more. And then we'll take a little breather after the dead bug. Last one at home, going for five. Squeeze that plank. Let's hold it here for a second, guys. Push your knees open, all right? Shoulders back. We're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good finish, okay. Dead bugs, please. Remember with that dead bug, you are reaching that down heel far in front of you, heel to the ceiling. Here we go, drop, hold it. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more each side, guys. One, two. Three, last one, one, two, three. Great, and you can tell they're working hard on that because they're shaking, right? They're working to keep that leg up, pushing that heel through the ceiling, pushing the heel through the ground, not letting that back come off and you're gonna really feel those abs burning. All right guys, you take a breather. We're getting ready for split squats. So if you're gonna be doing the split squats with a weight, you can have one dumbbell, two dumbbells, one kettlebell, two kettlebells, going to be dependent on how stable you feel in the movement. Two rounds. Got it. Okay. So for that, you can have one on each arm, right? And we'll be in that split squat position right here. If you feel stable enough, you can bring them both up to what we call the rack position. So with the kettlebells in the rack, they sit right on your forearm with a straight wrist. 
This causes a lot more engagement in the core and it challenges your stability a little bit extra. So if you feel like you're already wobbly in the position, I'd recommend either just one opposite leg, one in each hand, or no weight at all. All right? Uh, Jay's gonna model this one for me, so he's gonna come profile. Now remember, we're adding the tempo to it. Why are we doing that? Well, A, it forces you to be in the movement longer, all right? So you build up some endurance to the movement, some more stability in it. And then when you're at home and you might not have as much equipment as you do here, this kind of challenges the movement with just your body weight only, or if you do have a belt, it might make like a 25 pound dumbbell feel like a 40 pound dumbbell just because of the time that you're under tension. So Jay, we're gonna go two down, one hold, two up. Are you ready? He's gonna demo, so we're gonna go one, two, pause, one, up, one, two. He's sitting, keep going, Jay. He's sitting down into this hip, so he's shifting his weight back. He's feeling his quad fire and his glute fire. The other knee is right under his hip, so he has 90 degree angle in the front and 90 degree angle in the back. Go ahead and switch sides, Jay. I don't wanna burn you out yet when I get started. <laughs> All right, he's gonna keep going with his tempo. Now, sometimes people will tell us they keep they feel it in the back leg. Usually that just means you have a tight hip flexor. So what you really want to focus on, you might have to take a little bit of a narrower stance and really think about sitting into this glute right here, the working leg. Sometimes people want to shift back if they end up going here. That's where you feel that hip flexor. All right, Jay? Hey. Hey, Paul, can you me a reminder? Am I just doing rocking with that? Rocking, great, we'll just get right to it. So today you are going to do five rounds, all right? Now we did one, we did three rounds, week two, we did four rounds. If you were crazy, maybe you've already done five rounds. So in order for you to challenge it today, you can either add on more repetitions, which is what we're gonna do by going five rounds, or if you've already been doing five rounds, I'd recommend you increase your weight today, all right? One or the other, all right guys? You're gonna go body weight? They probably have to do some other stuff later. So let's all go. Left foot forward. Ooh, gotcha. All right, you ready at home? I'm gonna do squats because as we mentioned, I have some back things going on. So if you're at home and you don't feel stable in this position, you can do squats like me. All right, we're ready. Ready guys, here we go. One, two, pause, up. One, two, one, two, pause, up. One, two, one, two. One, two. Pause up. One, two. One, two. Pause up. One, two. Five. One, two. Pause up. One, two. Six. One, two. Pause. One, two. Seven. One, two. Pause. One, two. Last one. One, two. Pause up. One, two. Two, switch sides, guys. I'll just keep squatting. All right, here we go. So remember, you're sitting down into that quad and that glute, ripping those front toes hard to the ground. So grip your big toe, grip your heel. That's where you're gonna build up stability from the ground up. Focus on one point in front of you. You stay nice and stable. Come on, number four, guys. Five. One, two, pause, one, two, six, one, two, pause, one, two, seven, one, two, pause, one, two. Good, the guys are looking good. If you notice, that back knee is not touching the ground. It's staying about an inch or two above. Great job, guys. Let's come down for rocking. We're using rocking as our reset. Their hands are under their shoulders. Their knees are under the hips. They have that nice flat back again. They're gonna rock back to their heels, weight all the way over their fingertips. So if you have a baby at home, you might notice they do this when they're kind of getting ready to crawl.
two, five, down, one, two, pause, up, one, two, down, six, one, two, pause, one, two, seven, one, two, pause, one, two, last one, one, two, pause, one, two, nice work, check it out, okay, rocking time, Alright, hands are under your shoulders. Alright, so right on top of those wrists as you start. Sitting back into the hips, weight all the way over the fingertips. You guys, just go for 20. Give yourself a little more rest. Enjoy the rest period. Holly told me to do two rounds. Yeah, I think they're probably good. Yeah. Good counting. Especially if we're going to be doing all 10 rounds of the leopard crawl. Nice. All right, so we're leading you through two today. Remember, you can go all the way up to five. So if you're watching this live right now or you're watching the recording, hit pause or rewind and go watch us through again and then we'll catch you for the push-up. All right, so we're going to get set up for push-ups. Give us a couple seconds. All right, does anyone need to use um, the elevator? You got to two paws of the chest. Yeah, is that okay? Okay, cool. Two second paws at the bottom. Two second paws at the bottom. Dead bugs. Yes, and then we'll go, so we're gonna go push ups, 10, two second paws. We are going to do three dead bugs per side. Then we'll go 10 per side on our rope, and then 10, Light poles. Cool. Can you hear me now, Paul? Can you hear me at home? Oh, you heard my thing about my food channel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really is. I'm gonna have to redo that whole conversation. Okay, I think we're ready. So here's what we're gonna do. We have four things we're doing. We're doing the push-up. Remember, we're keeping that tempo in there. Today, the tempo for the push-up is two seconds at the chest. So if you're doing these on the floor, it's two seconds holding tension at the floor. If you're doing them elevated on the surface to make sure you get that full range of motion, two seconds at the surface. Remember, you're not relaxing. You're holding tension, building up power so you can drive hard away from the bottom or the surface. Then we'll go flip around, three dead bugs per side because we wanna make sure we have a strong core when we're doing those push-ups so we don't see that big flare or so you don't come up leading chest first. We wanna see you moving as one length unit from your shoulders all the way down to your feet. Then move into the pole. So for the pulling variation today, you can do the gorilla row, which you saw us doing a couple weeks ago, pushing into one, rowing, pushing into the other, rowing, or you'll notice the guys are gonna do a lawnmower row today, so if you only have one size bell at home, that's fine, or a dumbbell, so they'll be posting on one leg, bell right under the shoulder, big squared off in the chest, rowing right here, 10 per size. We'll finish with the wide pole, which we'll show you when we get there. All right, great. Guys, let's go down for push-ups first. So everybody get in your push-up stance. If you're on the floor, you'll notice their wrists are right under the shoulders. They're not out in front. They're going to go ahead and pull down. They're pulling their elbows back at 45 degrees, squeezing one, two, boom. They're pushing hard away. Here we go, number two. One, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, last one guys, one, two, awesome, all right, you can flip over for dead bugs, flip over for dead bugs, at home, all right, hands right by the shoulders, feet are up, knees pulled in towards the chest, you guys are gonna go ahead and drop opposite. Hold that tension in your stomach with your breath. Two, one, up. Deep breath in, drop. Push long through the heels. Two, one, up. Here we go. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. Starting three. One, 
two, three, last one, one, two, three. Great job. Okay, if you have one kettlebell or one dumbbell, you'll follow along with Ian and Jay. If you have two, you're gonna start out with each bell right under your shoulders. Big chest, no matter what stance you're in, we are going to lift that chest. Ready, here we go, guys. Pull that shoulder blade in towards the center. Keep it a nice flat back. If you notice, the guys aren't rotating out of the movement. If you find yourself rotating and shifting at the top, your bell's probably too heavy. It's okay to take it back down. When you guys get to 10, go ahead and switch sides. Most important thing is that they stay squared off and they actually feel their back working. So again, if it's too heavy, dial it back. You can always do more reps than we're doing. If you have a bell that's a little bit too challenging for you to get to 10 reps with good form, great. Use that bell, a lighter bell, go 12 reps, 15 reps. All right, thanks guys. So they're gonna come to the ground, face down for the Y pull. So with the Y pull, backwards touch. Four, I know, when I had my ball cap on last week, that was a challenge. Their forehead is gonna stay glued to the ground. They're starting with their arms out at about 45 degrees and their thumbs are up. So in this movement, they're going to start by lifting their arms off the ground and pulling their shoulder blades down towards their hips. You guys can just hold it for a good second. Good. All right, come on down. All right, so you're holding it up there. Go ahead, guys. Up there long enough to get a good squeeze. Right? Thinking about getting the traps out of the ears. We always say shoulders are ear poison. So you're really working to pull those shoulders down away from your ears. We're going for 10. I think they're only at like four. Mm -hmm. They're starting five. There we go. So they're really isolating the upper back in this position. Should feel pretty challenging, actually. I think we're at like eight. Okay, two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Cool. All right. We're going to do another round with you guys. And then again, if you're doing this for the third week in a row, you are doing five rounds today. We are increasing the volume we done, did on week one and week two. If you've been at home and you're a rock star and you've been doing five rounds already, what I would recommend is maybe instead of 10 reps, do 12 reps with the two second hold for the actual rows, if you've been doing all five rounds of 10 reps per side, try to increase your weight today. All right, we ready for push-up? All right, they're in their ready position. Their hands are right under their shoulders. Their belly button is drawn in, so they don't have that big dip in their lower back, so they're tight through the center. Now, they're planked all the way from their shoulders down to their heels. So they're gonna come on down, guys. Squeeze for one, two, boom, pushing away. Here we go, down, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, last one, ten, one, two. Great. Go ahead and come to your guys' dead bugs. Now, if you're also at home and you're just kind of new to the push-up, you're working on the push-up, you guys can go ahead and do three per side. Ian, if you can just count in your head, you just kind of follow his lead, okay? If you're new to the push-up and 10 reps with that two-second pause is way too challenging for you, then only do as many reps that you can with absolute really perfect form. We want your body to remember that. We don't want to stack bad rep on bad rep. So if you can only do seven the way we were doing that, awesome. If you can do eight, great. But don't think you always have to do the prescribed amount if you can't do it with good form. All right, guys, rows. So remember, lawnmower row, the guys are lining up with it next to their foot, wrist right on top of the show, under the shoulder. Their chest is big, their shoulders are away from their ears, and here they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it up. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four. You know, let's keep counting. 
You know what I was thinking in my head? We all do our own workouts, right? So we have like our own coaches, we have our own workouts, and we've been leading these like from beginning to end. These workouts are hard. You guys, that's what I was thinking in my head. Like, you guys, parody members, you're, you're pretty impressive. Okay, wide fold. Like those split squats. All right, here we go, you're doing 10. So just remember, forehead stays glued to the ground, thumbs are up, arms are at 45 degrees. As you're reaching up, you're pulling those shoulder blades out of your ears, down towards your hips, thinking about your back as an X, putting the right shoulder down to the left pocket, the left shoulder down to the right pocket. Once you hit 10, you're gonna keep rocking for another few rounds. We're gonna get ready for some crawling. guys close yep good all right guys keep going if you want to do your next three rounds we're gonna get set up for the crawling finisher I thought you told me to do it too oh the producer <laughs> just notified me this time we're doing three rounds that's totally okay with me all right so let's go right back to those push-ups okay are you guys ready okay now remember, you can't do 10 good ones, that's okay, stop short. Here we go, down, hold it. One, two, up, down, one, two, down, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, Two. Almost there, guys. Nine. One. Two. Ten. One. Two. Thank you, gents. Okay, dead bugs. Chris, Ian is sweating. Jay's looking pretty good. All right, ready? Here we go. Hold it. One. Two. Three. Drive that back through the ground. One. Two. Three. Push that heel to the ceiling. One. Two, three, long through the fingertips. Two, three, one more each side. One, two, three, you're almost there. One, two, three. Okay, get ready for that row. So just remember, shoulders squared off the whole time. Here we go, elbow back towards the hip, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Another common thing we'll see is that people like to look down. So if you notice, the guys, it might look like they're looking down, but they're actually kind of more looking ahead of them. Because what happens, you guys can go ahead and go. When people, they're their body follows where their eyes go. So if they start to look down, what we'll notice is their back starts to arch. And you can tell that's just not a good looking position. So if you kind of can look a little bit forward, tuck that chin, get long through the head, now you can really isolate that upper back and they're done. This is your last wide pole for you guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Their foreheads are glued to the ground. Their thumbs are up. They're reaching the shoulders, pulling them down towards their hips. Keep going, guys. I'm going to get a sip of my drink. I think they're almost done. All right. Break time. All right, guys, you get some water, and then we'll get ready for the crawls. Great work so far. Right. Should I have Jay Mike? He's because he's gonna count. Me and I are gonna crawl, or I can just keep it on. I think it'll be louder than bigger Jay.
All right, what up, crew? I'm taking over now. So, for our final block, we have 10 rounds of leopard crawl. Ah, leopard crawls. So, because of my wrist, Angie's gonna take my spot. She's got this. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready at home? There we go. Remember, guys, first week we did five rounds 30 30. Last week, the guys did five rounds 45 45. We were thinking, do we do five rounds of one minute and one minute? But in case you're new to this, we decided we're gonna be generous and keep it at 30-30, but do 10 rounds instead. So that's pretty fun. And Jay, what kind of crawling can they do? They can do forward crawling, backwards crawling. If you want, you can go lateral crawls. So maybe yep. we'll just show them off. Yeah, we'll right. just show them off, you know. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Okay. It's time. Camera went out? We're blacked out right now. Is that we're to black out right now? <laughs> we live. <laughs> Got the timer? Alright. Alright, crew. You guys ready? All right, we're gonna get started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, way to keep that form. Back's nice and straight, drawing that belly button in. We're at 10 seconds. Great job. <laughs> and now they're going backwards. Looking good, crew, we're at 20 seconds. Yo, last few seconds here. We got three, two, one. Rest it down for 30. Woo, those shoulders should be burning. Those legs should be burning. <laughs> All right. Angie and Ian are going to go lateral leopard crawls this time. All right. <laughs> All right, crew. We're back on in 10 seconds. Oh, yes. Three, two, one. Let's go. Round number two. Great job, Cooper. Ten seconds in. That's 20 down. We got 10 to go. Stay strong here. Last few seconds, you got three, two, one. Rest it down for 30. <laughs> oh yeah, because remember, get your steps in. And you put out a step challenge. Don't forget. Yesterday, and you got over 18,000 steps in. All right, people. We're gonna be back on in five. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Yep, gotcha. Great job, crew. 15 down, 15 to go. We got three, two, one. Rest it down for 30. Woo! Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't. All right, crew, going on to round four in three, two, one. Let's go. They're back to lateral crawling. Remember, this is a big mind-body connection here. Great job, crew. We're halfway. Keep on working.
last few seconds. Three, two, one. Rest it down for 30. Woo! <laughs> Angie's low key sponsor bang. <laughs> Oh yeah, all right, crew back out at three, two, one. Let's go back with the forward and back with leopard crawls. Looking good, crew. We're about halfway through. The last 10 seconds. Got three, two, one. Rest down for 30. We are halfway through. That's five rounds down. Five to go. Woo, feel those shoulders burning. Feel those legs burning. Feel that core burning. Look at Ian dancing over there. He's created a new dance here. <laughs> it's called Shake It Off. <laughs> here we go for 10 seconds. Going back to those lateral leopard crawls. Remember, challenge yourself here. We're on in three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Halfway. I said, just go to the beat. Just go to the beat. Three, two, one. Rest it down for 30. Woo! You'll be all right. You got plenty of time to rest after this. <laughs> Back out in 10 seconds. It is extremely hot in the gym right now. Three, two, one, let's go back with the forward crawls. Round seven. Great job, 15 down, 15 to go. Way to keep that back straight. Three, two, one. Press the down for 30. Here we go. The last three rounds, guys. Last three. Go up there. All right, crew. We're going back to the ladder. Let me call this round. Number eight. Round number eight. Back on in three, two, one, let's go. Looking good, guys. You guys are halfway through. Go last few seconds here. Three, two, one. Woo! Uh, my heart rate matter says it's 51. It says it's 51? Yeah. You guys are resting too much. That's what's happening. You guys are resting way too much. All right, we're going on to round number nine in three, two, one. Let's go. We got last minute of work. Yeah. Good job, guys. Halfway. We 
got three, two, one. Rest down for 30. Woo! Last round here, last 30 seconds of the workout. Just tap it. I'm, I'm even hot over here. All right, guys, we're back on it. 10 seconds going on to that last round. Remember, challenge yourself, go back to those lateral leopard crawls. Finish out strong here, and we're back on in two, one, let's go. Great job, crew, halfway. You're almost there, last few seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Great job, guys. Okay. All right. Now you get to hear me panting into the microphone. <laughs> so, that's all we got for today's workout. Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow, will we be back with a core workout led by Ian, Jay, one, what? okay, good news, led by one of them tomorrow, core workout. Hey, and let us know, did you like our Saturday pump workout for just something fun? If so, we're, we can come up with another one, and... We'll get that done for you, but let us know in the comments if you'd like to see another one of those or what other questions you might have. Don't forget, <laughs> Fridays are always Q&A, so let us know what questions you have. All right, guys, we're out. Later, guys. Later. <laughs>